Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to make an IoT home automation system using ESP32 board. With this system, we can control our home devices with our smartphone. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color, and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely. And then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect ESP32 board and connect its V-in pin to positive supply and its ground pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2-pin terminal block and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 16x2 LCD and connect its VCC pin to positive supply, its ground pin to ground its SDA pin to GPIO 21 of ESP32, its SCL pin to GPIO 22 of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect ULN 2803IC and connect its pin number 9 to ground, its pin number 10 to positive supply, its pin number 1 to GPIO 23 pin of ESP32, its pin number 2 to GPIO 19 pin of ESP32, its pin number 3 to GPIO 18 pin of ESP32, its pin number 4 to GPIO 5 pin of ESP32, its pin number 5 to GPIO 17 pin of ESP32, its pin number 6 to GPIO 16 pin of ESP32, its pin number 7 to GPIO 4 of ESP32, its pin number 8 to GPIO 2 of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 18 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 18 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay, and its remaining pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 17 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 17 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its remaining pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 16 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay 
and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 16 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its remaining pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 15 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 15 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its remaining pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its remaining pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its remaining pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its remaining pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its remaining pin to normally close terminal of the relay. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to ESP32 and test the project. First we need to install the ESP boards to Arduino IDE. Copy this link. You can find this link in the description. Now open the Arduino IDE and go to file. Then go to preferences and paste the link here. Now go to tools, then go to boards and select board manager. A new window will pop up. If you scroll down, you will find ESP32 boards. Install ESP32 boards. Now go to tools, then go to boards and select ESP32 dev module. Now connect your ESP board with your PC and go to tools again then go to port and select the COM port on which ESP32 is connected. In the code, you need to replace the Wi-Fi name and password with your router's SSID and password. Now press the boot button of ESP32 and click on upload. Now connect the power supply 
the LCD will display the IP address of the system. Now open your browser and type the IP address and that's it. Now you can control your devices with your smartphone or with your PC. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.